on everybody and welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are in a 2003 VY HSV Senator Signature Series and this car in this beautiful dark green is just absolutely a sight to behold. Now just before we continue with this video please go ahead and make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell notifications just so you get updated on all our weekly uploads. Manufactured in Elizabeth, South Australia and finished off by HSV in Clayton, Victoria, this VY Senator Signature Series just really does look like something so, so special. You know, you see this car in that sunlight just cruising down the road and my goodness, you know, this car really is a sight to see. I think they've really done a fantastic job with the design on this car. Uh, the, the VZ is my personal all-time favorite, but the VY has got to be a close second because just look at this car and it is beautiful. Now powering this Senator is the LS1 V8. Thing made about 350 horsepower and about 350 pound-foot of torque from factory. You could have got this car in a T56 six-speed manual or the four-speed auto like we have in this one. Now this car is relatively stock, though there are a few minor modifications that I will mention. So obviously this car does have coilovers all around, does have a X-Force exhaust system fitted, and does have a B&M ratchet shifter installed. But other than that, this car is pretty much how it was delivered. Now this is a car you just really don't see around all that much, you know. They really are hidden away these cars because they just are that rare nowadays. I went on the HSV database to find out just how many of these cars were actually made. And for a Series 1 HSV Senator Signature Series, 158. That's it. And you know, you put that number into your perspective, you know, that is just such a small amount of production number. I, I was quite blown away by that. Now just getting into the five questions here, we always start off with sound. So just rolling on it here. And And you know, she's got a nice rumble to her. She really does. This particular one does have a aftermarket exhaust. So, you know, it isn't from factory, but let me tell you, this thing sounds good. And, you know, chug a cam or something in this thing and these LS1 engines can just sound downright insane. Now, practicality. Well, this being a large four-door sedan, there is a ton of room in here and it is a nice place to be. You know, it is very comfortable. The back seats are quite spacious. You got a decent sized boot as well. And all up, you know, this could be a fairly practical vehicle, but let's remember, you know, this is a big 5.7 liter V8. You know, it will drink the fuel. Now, this particular one at the moment is averaging around 13 liters per 100k so you know they're going to be thirsty you know you're going to put premium fuel in this as well so just be mindful of that but then again nobody buys an hsv to worry about the fuel bill and reliability wise you know these ls ones are fairly reliable you know in general you know if you keep up with the maintenance there isn't generally a whole lot that goes wrong with these cars Now this is a 
signature series. So it's a little bit different from the standard Senator. Now, what you got for the signature was you got some bigger wheels from factory. So these would have came with 19 inch alloy wheels. Now I'll show you a picture of what they would have looked like because this is obviously running an aftermarket set of wheels. Though I will say, I think they absolutely suit the car to a T. Now what else you would have got was you got these really nice bolstered seats. So these really, I think, make the car feel that much more premium. And what you also would have got as well was premium bigger brakes. You actually got a slightly larger HSV brake. Uh, and yeah, you know, this car weighing in around 1.7 ton, you're gonna want all that stopping power you can get. Now price. This car being the signature series would have cost you a brand new upwards of around $80,000. And you know, being a locally made car, that was a pretty big price tag. But I think when you really would have seen this car brand new, you know, back in 2002, it was a really striking car and, you know, still for that money gave you quite a bit. Now on the used market, these cars are just incredibly hard to even just find one. I actually had a look last night on car sales and on Gumtree. I could not find one VY Senator Signature Series even Senator for that matter, for sale. So, you know, just finding one of these cars is a mission in itself. But I think on the used market, they're probably gonna go anywhere from around like 30 to 40,000, depending on, you know, condition and age, you know, age, but they're only going up. And considering how rare this car is, you know, how special it is, it's a collector's item for sure. Now handling, well this car from factory would have came out with HSV's luxury suspension tune and unfortunately this car has had the suspension redone here. We are running coilovers now which does give it a more mean look though you do feel it in the ride. And you know when you go into the corners you know the steering Look, it's not the best out there, but you know, for a large car, large car, you know, it, it still does all right. And the coilovers definitely help with body roll. This car really isn't designed for the B roads, anyways. You know, this is a cruiser car; it's a comfortable car. But you know, if you want to put it through its paces, she'll still go. Now there are two series for the Senators here in the VY. So you have the Series 1, which is this one we're driving today. That was from 2002 to 2003. And then you also had a Series 2 version that came out from 2003 to 2004. Now the differences weren't all that crazy, though the Series 2 did get a significant power increase. So this car was at the 260 kilowatt where the Series 2 got an upgrade to about 285. Now on this four-speed auto, we do have the power button here. So, you know, you hit that power button. It does try and make the gear changes a little bit more snappy in that. And, you know, you put your foot into it. It does drop down reasonably well. And she's got that get up and go, but that is always the the weak point with the four speed is that it needs more gears just to do that down change a little bit quicker. You know, the gear ratios in this car are just really long and that's sort of where you feel like you've lost that little bit of speed. Though this car is no slouch. Now zero to hundred. So the claim time was a little bit difficult to find actually, but I think it was roughly around like six seconds. Now this is uh, the four speed, so we do have a few modifications. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it in drive and just see what it gets. So just count it in here. So let's go here. Three, two, one. Hundred.
And again, just from a dig there, I think, I really do think that's sort of the only issue with this car is it's the four speed, the gear ratios are just that long that it just doesn't go that quick. You know, it, it's quick car, it is quick, but you just have such a long rev range in this car that it really would benefit from a five speed. It really would have. And I think if you had the six speed manual, you'd probably notice a significant difference as well. And just running it through the gears here, you know, you've got first, second, and third here, which you can kind of go through the modes with. And, you know, it does give it a little bit more of a fun feel to it, it really does. And, you know, you're just stepping on it again here. <laughs> yeah, she's got some get up and go. She really does. And, yeah, it, it is quite a satisfying shift with this, uh, you know, this BNM ratchet shifter. You know, it, it's got a very nice mechanical feel to it. So, you know, that, that is a nice touch. You know, if you had the four speed, I would highly recommend getting something like this because yeah, it definitely does give you that little bit more drama and just a bit nicer of a feel. Now I'm gonna finish the video off here today. So a huge thank you to the owner, Connor, for allowing me to take out his Senator Signature Series here today because this VY was just an absolute treat to feature on the channel today. This is a true collector's car and you just don't see these out anymore. And really felt special today to drive this car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If so, please remember to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here and we'll see you on that next video.